Before 1980, the surgical techniques used to repair anorectal malformations were performed blind. As a consequence of that, the results in terms of bowel function and urinary functions were not good, were very bad. And in addition, many severe injuries were done during the repair of those malformations. In 1980, I came to Colorado Springs because there was a meeting of the Pacific Association of Pediatric Surgeons. I came to present a paper in which I was questioning the surgical techniques that were used in those years because we had no evidence of the existence of anatomic structures that the experts mentioned that existed. My paper was, was not accepted very well. The experts in the treatment of anorectal malformations criticized my paper very much. I, in the back of the hotel, there was a little lake, and I used to run in the mornings thinking about what happened in the meeting. I felt frustrated, and uh, at the same time, was, I was excited. And that's when I came up with the idea of going back to Mexico and the next patient that I had with anorectal malformation, I decided to explore it with a midline incision in between both buttocks with the specific uh, intention to find out the, wh how the anatomy was and came up with a rational treatment for these malformations based on direct evidence of the anatomy structures. That happens in August 10 of 1980. 37 years later, I came back to Colorado, and I visited the same hotel and decided to walk around the little lake and sit in a bench to think about what happened 37 years before and have memories from that. I decided to call that lake the Creativity Lake because of my personal experience. And as you can see in this picture, a professor of mine used to say that every time we make a mistake, we grow a gray hair. And if we repeat the same mistake, that hair falls. And as you can see, I made many mistakes from which I learned a lot. That has been my experience. It has been a long and happy journey. Thank you very much.